okay welcome to part two so of this balaisani thingy i didn't actually go for the art book fair which is closing down already so i'm not that interested but this one is a great find this artist here yk something i don't know it is good it, it, he is very very good something that i would aspire to but definitely i would say that our art styles are quite different mine is more on the watercolor side while his one is on the oil painting side and i can see michael jackson here unfortunately i would say if i mean he looks like michael jackson uh really really when he's like doing his like facial thingies weird stuff and he captured the weirdness of his nose in memory of uh, michael jackson uh, definitely 2009 looking nice and uh, with the type of uh, art style on top reminiscent of his uh, black and white album cover and we have here is a nice looking Chinese girl unfortunately her right eye or her left eye is a bit higher than the rest but this one still looks very very good indeed so very nice and she's wearing like uh, well I can almost I'm just hoping that this translucent like a skirt here would uh, just hope that she would like hope, spray the wings and fly to to show us her rainforest ah, this is a Japanese type of kimono uh, unfortunately you don't get to see the, the face of the geisha or whatever it is what does it say? Or oh, at night under the sakura tree, okay. Um, no. This one, I don't know, is it the same fellow? First work of the artist after arriving to Paris. First work of the artist after arriving in Paris. That would be the correct term to say. It is in 2002 so the fellow went to Paris very nice Paris is a nice place on oh, it's the same women I guess uh, he should be like uh, <clears throat> he should be like <clears throat> doing her in so I guess uh, he likes Chinese girls and I think this uh, excellent artist is a Malay chap very good Indian I like it so I guess he was like uh, studying in Paris and while fooling around definitely good stuff Perry is the city of love and sex so this one looks like a uh, Robin Williams from my perspective holding uh, some kind of uh, I don't know what this is called this flower untitled okay. so I guess he can be the So this is the epitaph of the guy there, hopefully he's still alive. He was seems to be have been born on 2002 and died in 2013. Actually, I'm just joking. So after 11 years in Paris, Malaysian artist Ken Yang, holy oh, shit, he's a Chinese, I thought he was a Malay, but never mind. Artist Ken Yang, or you see, the Malays in Kelantan and whatnot, they do have type, this type of a name, Ken, some Yang here and Yang there. So I'm not sure whether it's Chinese or Malay, but never mind. It's not important race is not important in Malaysia. Ken Yang comes back to his homeland with a selection of artworks implemented in Paris from 2002 to 2013. Around 35 works are displayed in two series European inspiration created for the artist's solo shows in Paris and other private exhibits around Europe and Malaysian inspiration prepared especially for the purpose of this exhibition alongside portraits of prominent Malaysian figures. Ken Yang displayed also his collection of antique European furniture and jewellery Gentleman, gentleman accessories and daguerreau uh, type photographs okay the technique used in a melange of traditional oil painting techniques of the European Reno Rene 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 Renaissance at times it is reminiscent of Da Vinci's Sumato at others it recalls Caravaggio's chiaroscuro or the finesse and realism of jean august dominic ingress fondness of fabrics and drapes ken yang's sub 
sublimates sublimates each of his topics all the figures are archetypical they bask in the legendary settings extracting them from the naturalistic order and giving them a sense of permanence this okay i need to take a drink but never mind the scenography is meant to reflect <coughs> The scenography is meant to reflect the atmosphere surrounding the artist in his Parisian atelier. Ken Young shares with his public the sensorial and emotional experience he has gone through in Europe and makes the viewer participate in his passion for antiques and curiosities. Curiosities like this is meaning the brothels of uh, Paris, definitely, I liked it. And in his admiration of fine handicrafts, uh, handicrafts is, is kind of gay, but never mind. Thus, the, he gives a glimpse of his taste and sources of inspiration. This exhibition is a double bridge, on the one hand between the authors and the public, on the other between Perry and Kiel. What the fuck? Perry and Kiel is like, like sun and night sky or moon. So let's do it in Malay. Selepas, 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 selepas sebelas. Wow, it is, it is a mouthful. Selepas sebelas tahun berkelana di Pari, pelukis Malaysia Ken Yang pulang ke tanah air dengan sejumlah kaya yang telah dihasilkan di Pari dari 2002 hingga 2013. Sebanyak kira-kira 35 buah karya dipertontonkan dalam dua kumpulan siri inspirasi Eropah yang dibuat untuk pameran-pameran solo beliau di Pari dan beberapa pameran tertutup di sekitar Eropah sebelum ini dan inspirasi Malaysia yang dihasilkan khusus untuk dimuatkan ke dalam pameran yang sedang berlangsung ini bersama-sama dengan beberapa portret tokoh-tokoh terkenal di Malaysia Ken Yang turut mempamerkan koleksi milik beliau yang terdiri daripada pelbagai jenis perabot dan barang kemas antik buatan Eropah barangan hiasan laki gay dan gambar-gambar foto daguerreau type Ken Yang melukis dengan menggabungkan beberapa teknik lukisan minyak tradisional dari galur renasans Eropah ada yang mengingatkan kita kepada teknik Suamato Da Vinci. Ada yang mengimbas kembali dak kaedah Ciara Kuso Caravaggio. Dan ada pula yang mengimbau kehalusan serta realisme lukisan fabrik dan kain seperti yang digemari John August Dominic Ingres. If you are wondering what is uh, Caravaggio, if you go and watch the movie called... Uh, Notting Hill, which uh, stars Hugh Grant and what's her name? What's that girl with uh, Julia? Is it Robert Julia? Julia Roberts. Yep, Julia Roberts. Uh, Julia Roberts, who is a super fucking star, she gave a uh, Caravio to Hugh Grant's character. It is, uh, I think, it's a painting of a, a cat and something else. I'm not sure. Ken uh, Ken Yang mengola setiap subjeknya untuk menjadi sesuatu yang mengamuk, mengangum dan menakjubkan. Kesemua figuranya bersikap arketip. Figura-figura tersebut disuasanai dengan latar-latar berunsur legenda yang meluahkan mereka daripada tantangan naturalisme dan menimbulkan pada mereka dampak rasa kekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekek
So we have Cannons here and Cannons. Here. So overall, this Ken Young is a very very good artist. I, I mean, he has uh, won a fan in me. I mean, he's gotten a fan. Okay. So this is uh, Ken Young, looking pimp as usual in his nice uh, German German officer uniform boots. Unfortunately, there's no swastika there. I think he would look dapper in type of a Nazi uniform, like an SS or a shoe stuffer. 55 years, eh? Okay, this one is... Uh, I can see a Chinese old guy there, but there's a lot of uh, photos everywhere. That's okay. So uh, using a uh, computer to do it, so it's not that. Uh, uh, okay, never mind. It looks nice. Uh, I think it's like condoms, right? All condoms at the back, and Abu, Abu, and ashes. Uh, when they say Abu, it means anything but Amno. So ah, this one looks nice. It's reminiscent to the guy who I've uh, interviewed during the. the that uh, you see my the guy's name is Steve it looks like something like he would actually do uh, okay kind of creepy actually you can see Bruce Lee there Bruce Lee died while having sex apparently and there's a big fucking shuttle cocks cock shuttle cock with a man's face very very creepy indeed what's the inside here Nothing. It's a it's a peep show maybe. No, no lap dances at all. So I can see a lot of ping pong balls there. So that's art, right? I hope. Most likely it's something to do with the. So which one is the art? Is it the shadow or is it the ping pong balls or is it the mechanism above? No idea actually. Okay, that's a bit weird. I wouldn't call this art, but never mind. It's more like engineering. Uh huh, this one is art, huh? Is it? It's like a cabinet thingy. So this one is like something a representation of a 3D art or is it cut uh, okay. Oh yeah, something like the the body. Looks looks kinda cool, actually. Looks cool in it. I do miss the the art galleries of Auckland and uh, yeah of Auckland, Auckland, uh, Britain, Edinburgh. Those are nice ones. Huh? This is okay. So oh, there's a picture there. But never mind. So, so. So today, the good discovery is nothing to do with any tacos, but it's just a sausage. Ken Young is a good artist, definitely a very good artist, very good artist. So instead of uh, getting the art book fair in progress, I got this Ken Young thingy. Is there like anything else? Anywhere else? Anywhere else? Anywhere else? Uh huh. So it's a great find, this Ken Young. Definitely, definitely, definitely going to put him in as the the main uh, topic or main uh, what do you call the paragraph of uh, of this place. Is there another one? There should be another level, so fuck yeah, I'm just going up there. It takes us some time to go round and round and round and round and round. Oh boy. Actually, I've been uh, pretty tired. As I said earlier, I've been sleeping quite late and waking up early and my toes are hurting. I don't know why, it's uh, getting old already. So, 
let's see what else is there to see oh my god just going up is just taking a lot of time because there's like two big roundabouts just to get up here it would be easier just to have a normal type of staircase but never mind Nothing else is there. That's where I came in from, around here. And there's a becha or a tricycle there. So instead of going for the, the round and round and round, I can go through here. But where's the toilet? Where is the toilet? Hey, check. Mana toilet? Oh, okay. Thank you. Apa apa pandangan anda tentang ini? Saya pun tak pasti. Tak pasti. Okey. Sana. Oh, Okey. So this is the weird type of uh, artwork. This type of uh, artwork, uh, you cannot bring back home. You have to take all the stickers out. So what's the point? It's not an artwork. You have to stick everything in somewhere. There is no physicality of this artwork. You can't like, I want to buy this artwork and I want to bring it back home. And the artist has to go there and do everything into one special type of uh, area where it can accommodate the whole damn thing. So it's not an artwork. And this is a hologram type of thing so it is uh, I'll just take a hologram and with a light source and that's an artwork oh my god Annabelle Ng Ying Wa okay uh, it's, it's quite a decisive type of uh, thing you know when it comes to all this modern art if you go into, like, say, uh, Britain, where there is a section or an art competition called Turner Art, Turner Competition, uh, like uh, the past winners of this Turner Competition in London, uh, Britain, past winners would be some fella, ugly looking woman, ugly, uh, ugly looking woman with one eye a bit closed, I don't know why, maybe she's blind in one eye. She made a, a, a bed, which is unmade bed. I mean, if you're you suddenly sleeping in London, very cold, and you're having to do weight on, and suddenly, and you turn off the alarm clock. Thirty minutes later, you you wake up suddenly and thinking, why is it already bright on a winter day? Bright already, and the person is not on uh, not on his way to work, and uh, you just wake up and first first go out and without uh, remaking the bed, you went off to work, and uh, the bed. Uh, that's that unmade bait that's the winner of the Turner Prize so uh, they call the Turner competition as the Turner T-U-R-D-N-E-R that's the summation or the or the accom 
accumulation of what modern art is where everything that's absurd and stupid and also overpriced is made into works of art something that uh, people would like love it and suddenly discard it later on because well that's bullshit but this one is it's okay uh, i guess um, i don't know what the meaning is for this thing uh, maybe there's some kind of meanings but some some people will really come through here and they might think wow this gives me a lot of meaning then it's all for the win for them it's good that they know the meaning because everything like this uh, object here has a meaning to every it's a it has a it represents a different meaning for different meaning for every person who sees it so for me i'm not getting any meaning at all so and it's very weird that this modern art because if i want to make a modern art no problem i get a table i put all my random stuff on it and call it modern art like my gundam old boxes which i'm not going to use anymore i just put it on a table that's modern art i can like display it here and it represents gundam mania and that's modern art this one is a bit weird but at least this one is like an art in this whole room itself it is the art then there's visual art as well the, which i'm not a fan of visual arts i'm not a fan of and uh, this one here this is not what you look forward to see the correct one is this is not what you look forward to seeing so it's missing an ing there so this one here oh god what the hell i don't know what the and the robot thing robot thing uh. so it's not so nice actually so where's the toilet So see you in part whatever. I'm not gonna go down using the circular thingy. Not really.